Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. These hands get more and more intense. Like, I'm waiting for the day that I'm like, hello everybody, like, I don't know, my hands are just like, they, they have a mind of their own. You guys, when I was younger, we'll get into the thing in a minute. Fun fact, I used to actually like have my teachers be like, Paige, put your hands down when you talk. Because every time I talk, I am so like, <laughs> that I would like start waving my arms, like hitting classmates or like coming to within an inch of their brain. It's just like a thing about me. I've always been so like hand expressive. It's a problem, but, and it's really a problem in here because I don't clean anything. I just like let it pile up. So like one false move and I mean, we're just having a landslide of products everywhere. So you guys, today we are, I look like a naked mole rat in the camera. Like I have everything on but my eyes and, and lipstick obviously, but it's like, oh girl, you look, you look a little bit like a little tiny rat trying to like see its way out the cave. Okay, today we are talking about something I picked up from Sephora. This is the Iconic Ensemble Kit. Um, it comes with full five... <sighs> It comes with five full-size multitaskers, um, and basically it comes with a mascara, two eyeliners, and two like lid shimmery glitter things. Comes all put together in this nice little box, and then you lift it up, and it says "Be Iconic Girl Done." I already am. And then these are your products right here. These are from the brand called Wander Beauty. I've never played with this brand before, so I thought it would be kind of cool a to check their stuff out, and b it's a good deal. I'm pretty sure it was twenty-five bucks. I want to say that's how much it was. Um, you guys know Sephora has been having all kind of gift set deals going on lately. And your girl's all about a good gift set. I mean, if I can save myself some coin, maybe try something new, I am there for it. Let's scan this puppy in. See how much I paid for it. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Gonna love one another right now. Thank you. Thank you. She'll be here all week. Oh, okay, it was $45. I don't know what I was drinking. Did I say $25? Why would I say that was $25? I'm... Go home page. So anyways, it is $45. It's $122 value according to their site. And um, it has almost a perfect five stars with three reviews. So it's still pretty new. Um, and I'm just super curious to try this out. Like I said, I've never tried anything from them. But I love the idea of putting out like a simple, easy to use kind of kit for people that maybe they just want like a more simple look, a more demure look. Um, because those, the shimmery things on the end, I'm assuming those are kind of like the Stila glitters. You know, just like take a wand, smear it on, you're good to go. So let's take a look at what we get. Um, let me set her down here. I think the first thing that will be of interest to us are these little eye shimmers. I am so intrigued. Um, okay, these are in the shade Dove Gray and Gilded Rose. So let's go ahead and swatch these. Oh, gosh. I like how that swatch is so much bigger. Oops. You guys, holy crap. Can you see? Like, our. Are we intense right now? Intense? Aren't even... <laughs> Whoa. All right, girl, time to bust out a little comparison. I got me some of these Stila liquid glitters here. Um, they are $24 a piece, so just buying two of these would equal more than the cost of this kit. Crazy awesome. Um, let's see if I have any colors that are similar. Maybe we find us a doopy dupe. So I found two pretty similar colors in my Stila liquid glitters. Um, the shade Kitten and the shade Jezebel are over here. Let me see if I can get you good and close. Over here. So as you can kind of see, I believe the top one is Kitten and this one is Jezebel. And they are pretty freaking similar. The difference in consistency is that the Stila liquid glitters seem to have more of almost like a whipped formula. So a little, like a tiny, tiny bit of those goes a super, super long way. These have a little bit thinner formula to them. So you need like what I would assume would be an actual normal amount to get the kind of opaque coverage you're going to look for. But those colors are so similar. I mean, like, look at cross reference them like tink, tink and tink, tink and damn girl. I mean, come on. Look. Oh, there you go. There's some money. Look at these Stilas and those. Come. Oh child please do not play these are the ones that didn't match they're the misfits you go away but ooh. and p.s those uh stilas are from the new shimmer and glow line from ulta they are not like the chunky glittery ones they're like an actual solid shimmer i'm obsessed just so you know i feel like all my videos ends up with <laughs> end up with me going i think i have a dupe for that i think i have a dupe for that like every single video i do like a that urban decay oh my god i got so many messages for that with the urban decay one when it was all the solid glitters i was like 
girl, I think I got some dupes for that. <laughs> like, every video, I don't mean to do it, you guys. I'm sorry if it's annoying, but I feel like you guys should know what you're working with. What if you already have those other, those two shimmers, and you're like, do I need these two shimmers? Well, now you know. You might, you might not. I don't know. Let's look at these uh, pencils here. Ooh, and they've got, okay, so I don't have to sharpen. Praise be to Jesus. Um, they're just, this is the black one here. Ooh, okay, creamy, nice, thick black line there, yes please, all right, and then we have also a nude one, and I loved that they did that, I loved that they were like, okay, here's some black, smoke it out, look sexy, here's some nude, if you want a nude eye, if you need to open it up, inner rim liner, oh yes please, oh that's a, oh that is a great nude color, I don't know how well it's going to show up, because I'm pretty pasty naturally, but look at that, ooh, girl okay all right i'm digging i'm digging i'm following tracking i get you all right and then this is the mascara i uh don't often work with mascaras in tubes like this but this is the unlashed volume and curl mascara um doesn't say anything else so let's just open it up and see okay so just like a curved applicator nothing crazy so, so far, you guys, I'm seeing just a lot of, like, normal products that look pretty decent so far, all, like, put into one box, relatively affordable. All right, let's give it a shot. And I love that these are drying down and looking still so beautiful. I was trying to decide what palette I wanted to pair with this one, and I actually haven't gotten to play a ton with this guy on camera, so I thought we would bring back out the Laura Lee Cots Pajamas, Cots Pajamas palette. Um, I thought this would be a fun one. I've played with it a couple times with like just myself but like not for you guys so i thought that'd be a good idea today now where are my brushes i put, I put this little guy on top of all my brushes <laughs> well let's not do that um i'm gonna start by kind of schmoozing some crease colors in here as you guys know laura lee's palette has these two right here perfect crease colors and i think what i'm gonna end up doing is i haven't decided which of the shimmers i'm gonna go with but i'm gonna go this guy then the cray cray then kooky we're gonna get all of that built into the crease and kind of see where we're at decide where we need to go from there i'm not sure yet but we're gonna find out i'm looking forward to how this goes maybe i could like zoom you guys one second not gonna lie guys, I was a little bit nervous to pull this palette out today with all the BS that's going on between her and Manny and Jeffrey. I don't even know. You guys, I am so not like a good drama person. Like, I don't know. I'm just not good at it. I literally check out after about 10 seconds. I'm like, yeah, I hate this. Ooh, girl, that is so pretty. And like three colors. That just looks so pretty for three colors. Yes, please. Okay, so now I think until I have to do the lower lash line, I want to kind of get to these glitter shades. Now, I really love the idea of the more silver one, but I feel like this one matches better. So I think that's the one I'm going to go with. Um, just obviously, like I said, because it matches better. Um, where's it at? Ooh, girl. And again, that is the shade Gilded Rose. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now, I know sometimes when I use the Stila liquid glitters, it's better for me to put them on my hand and then, like, apply them with a brush. But I want to try going in with just the applicator to see how much control we have here. All right, so you guys, because this is like a little bit thinner of a product, like I said before, you actually do have a lot more control over the product, how much there is, that kind of thing, which is really nice. Like right about now with the Stila applicator, I would be really overwhelmed with product. And I kind of like that this one's just a little bit thinner. Oh, girl. Hello, how you doing? Hot stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh girl, cannot wait to blend it out. I try to let it dry down just a tiny bit. I know you don't have to, nothing says to do that. I'm just like always afraid I'm gonna screw it up. Alright, so let me grab a little brush. Hey girl, how you? No, not you. I'm gonna use my, R my Morphe R39. Oh, girl. And now I'm going to take just on my finger, and I want to go into the shade in one ear. It's got like this purpley, beautiful iridescence to it, and I just want to kind of stamp that just on the outside of my eye. That shade has ridiculous amounts of pigment, like holy crap, but it's such a beautiful shade. 
Oh, girl, are you beautiful or what? Yes, please. Now, normally I would take the shade Goofball and like run it up on the outside to like really deepen it up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go in instead with the shade Bomb Diggity, which again is just like that super light brown color. I'm just going to run that all up in here to kind of keep everything faded out. I am trying to get out of the super ridiculous habit of everything having to always be so dark. I think in my mind, I equate like a dark, super dark outer smoky eye with a finished eye, and I don't think it always has to be like that. So I'm going to try and start like leaving things like this every once in a while because I think it's a little bit more simple and a little bit more beautiful. Like not more beautiful, but diff beautiful in a different way. And I just love that. Now, what do I want to do for my lower lash line? Something simple, something nice, something slightly understated. Yes, please. On my Sigma pencil brush here, this is an E30, I'm just going to take that shade Bomb Diggity and run that all along the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the shade Cray Cray, concentrate that a little bit closer toward the lashes on the outside V. And then I'm going to take the shade Kooky and run that dark purple just on the outer V close to the lash line. As I say, something cold, calm, cool, collected, understated. There are now three colors on my lower lash line. And now, this is one of my favorite things to do. I love this look. I want to soften it a little. I'm just going to go in with an R39. It's like a bigger brush than for my under eye. But I'm going to go in with the shade Okie Dokie, and I'm just going to literally kind of smudge those three colors underneath. All it does is soften them just a tiny bit. You probably can't notice it on camera. But in real life, it gives the illusion of a much softer finish, which I really like. Um, especially too because I wear glasses you guys so when I'm wearing glasses everything through my glasses is a little magnified and I feel like you can like tell every single oops I ever do through my glasses so that's like a little touch that I do just for me we're allowed to do that now I'm gonna grab this Becca highlight here in the shade opal is this opal what is this Oh, pearl, my bad in the shade pearl and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone and in my inner eye highlight because, girl, you know you got to be popping. I'm using the wrong brush for this, but I'm too lazy to find the right one. You guys, if nothing else, on my channel, you will always have honesty. I'm lazy. Welcome to Seeking Alexandria. <laughs> Welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? The show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Anybody else watch that show? Oh, my God. When I was a kid, I used to get in trouble for staying up late so I could watch that show. Obsessed. The Drew Carey version, though. Ooh, girl, hello, how you doing? Now, I know this next part's probably going to sound a little bit weird. Um, When it comes down to liners, this is going to sound so stupid, I actually do my mascara first, and then I run my, like, for me, this kind of an eyeliner I use as a tight rim for, like, my uh, rim liner for my upper line. So, for me, this is actually going to be something I do after my mascara. Um, I think, and I have to go off camera to do that. You guys, this is, okay, this is really weird. I cannot hardly watch people put on mascara. Like, it makes my eyes water, and I can't, like, film it. Like, it makes, because oh, when I watch it back and when I have to edit my film, it will make my eyes water. I don't know what it is. I get it from my mom. My mom's the same way. Every time she watches me, she goes, oh, I can't, I can't do this. And I'm the same way. Like, it freaks me out. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like watching other people do it. I'm not going to do it. I'll be right back. And then uh, we will do some final thoughts on this little kit of Wanda. Oh my god, Wander. <laughs> That's pretty close. And um, look at me. I think I'm so clever. <laughs> and um, I will tell you what I think. Ah! All right, so I obviously got everything all figured out, situated on the face, the huge. And I thought I would come back on and give you guys a little final thought. thought, thought. Some salt, really? Because clearly you have enough pepper? What, what the hell? Um, some final thoughts um, on this little set. You guys, I actually, okay, let's start with the mascara. I was really perplexed with that mascara as I was putting it on. It does a really good job, and I'll zoom you in so you can kind of take a look at it, but it seems like such a natural mascara. And I feel like natural mascara is something that people would generally equate with, like, it's not good or it doesn't do anything. But I think there's something to be said for a mascara that goes on the lashes really easily and it really gets every individual lash coated. It might not add a ton of length, but it adds a lot of definition. And it really does, I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, they don't look long, they don't look super amazing that way. But up close, they really did do, that mascara did a really nice job of separating and making them look very, 
just normal, natural, like just nice lashes. And that effect on the bottom lashes especially looks really beautiful. Let's go ahead. I'll zoom you in real quick. Otherwise, I know I'm going to forget. So I don't know how well it'll pick up on here, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I mean, they are very, there you go. That's probably a good shot. They're very individualized, which I just love about this mascara. Again, not much height that you can see, right? But when you're looking at them front on, they look very, I don't know, just natural. And the bottom lashes are what I fell in love with more so than the top. Oh, now I get light jerk. But the bottom lashes, they just look so nice, especially right in this angle. Like, look at that. I'm obsessed. And then I went in and I did a little tight rim on the upper with black and then on the lower with the lighter shade. And what was that lighter shade called? That was in the shade Nudist. And then Black Sand was the other, the black eyeliner. Um, you guys, I think for 40, what was it, 45, 44, something like that dollars, I actually think this is a really decent deal. Even if all you're really after is the um, those cream shadow shimmer things because they performed so nice. Um, they are different than the Stila's in a couple of ways, which I'm going to tell you just because I feel like that's the easiest comparison to make. Um, the first thing I noticed is, like I said, the formula as far as the consistency. The Stila's are a lot more whipped, so the product goes a little bit farther. However, when it comes to putting it straight to eye, that does make it a little bit more difficult to control. That's why whenever I use the Stila, I put it on my hand and then I go in with a brush just so I know I'm getting exactly as much product as I want exactly where I want it. Um, this product was a little bit easier to control in that it's a little thinner. You know, when you put it on, it kind of just goes right where it's going to go. It's not going to move around too much. Now, the one thing I'm noticing is that when I get up close, I am having a little bit of creasing on the inner part of my eye with that glitter. Um, I have super, super, super like wrinkly, creasy eyelids. That sounds disgusting, but it's true. And so for me, that's not uncommon. Even the Stila's do it. They don't usually do it that quickly, but all I can think of is that because the formula on this one is thinner, it's kind of settling into the cracks and crevices of my eye versus sitting on top of them. It's fine. It's not a big deal. You know, you can pack a shimmer over it if you want to. I probably could have packed a little bit more of that actual glitter on top and done two coats and it would have been fine. But just something to know, maybe if you have, you know, lids like mine that are a little more wrinkly. <laughs> but um, overall, I think that the price point for this is actually worth it. Um, when it comes to eyeliners like this that are just gel eyeliners, the, to the, the ones that I consider you use them to rim your eye, you know, your lashes, your lash lines, whatever. Um, I'm not super, super picky. What I did like about these is that they were very, the color was very nice and for how much product you use you did get a lot of color um, I didn't like how hard I felt like I did have to press they didn't seem as creamy as I would like but they're still really really good eyeliners and I think it might have been the black one I didn't like get, let it give it a chance to get going before I used it which is probably my fault the nudist one on the lower lash line went on absolutely stunning and amazing and smooth and creamy so I have a feeling if I would have started the black one I would have had the same deal. It, they're good eyeliners. Um, the only part that I was really eh about was the mascara, but again, if you're someone that wears fake lashes, it won't really matter anyways, and if you're someone that doesn't mind doing a natural look and having a natural mascara, this is a good option. I actually really do like the effect that it had on my lashes. I liked that I was able to actually go in and get every single lash without them clumping and getting nasty. I would rather have a natural mascara that lets me coat every lash and make them all look nice versus a mascara that you can't do anything with like a mascara that's like so clumpy and so thick and trying to do so many things trying to add volume trying to add length trying to make you look like you're wearing falsies and then all it does is like clump up and look nasty I would rather have a mascara like this one all day long than one like that that fails and a lot of times they fail so you guys I think that that's it for this video honestly I like it I think it's worth the price and I think it's something that if you've never tried the brand you could definitely give them a try see if you like them if you have tried them leave it down below let me know what you think are there other products any good i don't know i only tried three products here but they were pretty decent i'm not gonna lie so leave it down below let me know what you'd be thinking and as always in the description box there is my social media handles for the snapchat the twitter the facebook the instagram you should definitely go hit those up because yes and um as you know guys just have a great day night weekend whatever and i will talk to you guys on the next one don't forget to comment like subscribe share all that good stuff then they recommend my videos and my face to all the other people in the YouTube land and we want to spread the page to all of the YouTube and 
I don't know where I was going with that, but I had this thought and then I trailed off because I thought about cookies. Literally thought about cookies. Once a fatty, always a fatty. Have a great day, night, weekend, you guys. I'll talk to you on the next one. Iconic, just like me. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs>